Hey everybody, today I'm here to show you guys how I did my crochet faux locks. So to create this style, I'm using these faux locks right here. I found these at my local beauty supply for like $2.99 a pack and I'll leave the link to the exact locks I used right down below. And I'm gonna be attaching them with a latch hook. So I'm starting off with stretched hair. I did tie down my edges with a scarf beforehand just to make it a little easier for me to gather the hair around my perimeter. So yeah, I did that. And then to do the faux locks, I'm first sectioning off kind of like a medium sized square piece of hair like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make a plait. While I'm doing this, I'm making sure to keep the hair together as tight as I can so I don't have any slack. And this just helps to ensure that the crochet lock is as secure as possible. So I'm not planning it all the way down. I'm just going far enough so that it won't unravel. And that's about an inch and a half to two inches down. Then I'm taking the latch hook and sliding that underneath the base of the plait. I'm gonna take the looped end of the faux lock and place that onto the hook, close the latch, and slide it under the plait over to the other side. Now I'm wrapping the end of the faux lock onto the hook, closing the latch, bring that all the way through the loop of the faux lock, and then gently pull it to tighten and secure it down to my scalp. So now we have these two pieces and to make it so we have one uniform lock, I'm taking the hook and inserting that a few inches down from the top right through the inside of the lock. And then I'm looping that plaited piece onto the hook and bringing that right through the lock. So now my real hair is hidden inside the center of the faux lock. And you wanna just keep doing that all the way down until the entire length of hair is contained inside the lock. And when you're done, it should look like this. All right, so I'm gonna do it one more time really close in. So first I'm making my part and for the sizing, I like to make my sections just a little bit larger than the size of the base of the lock. So that's pretty much how I determine how big to make my parts. And then I'm planting that section about an inch and a half down. Taking my latch hook, I'm gonna make sure it's open and sliding that underneath the plait. Attach the looped end of the faux lock onto the hook, close the latch and slide it to the other side. Now taking the end of the faux lock, I'm attaching that to the hook, closing the latch and bringing that through the loop. I'm gonna pull that all the way through until it's nice and secure and flat to the scalp. Now to hide that plaited piece a few inches down from the top, insert the open latch hook through the middle of the faux lock and bring it all the way up through the top opening. Attach the plaited hair onto the hook. Close the latch and bring it down through the faux lock. And repeat that until all of the hair is inside. So each time just move down a few inches from the opening where the hair comes out and bring that latch hook up and through. And when you're doing this, you wanna try to make sure you bring the hook up to exactly where the opening is so you don't get gaps that could cause your hair to come out of the faux lock. So yeah, just keep that in mind when you're doing this. And of course, continue all over until the entire head is locked. And here I am, all done. So for this, I used just under five packs of hair and it took me about four and a half, just under five hours to complete. So yeah, I got this style for like 15 bucks and in less than five hours, 
not too shabby at all in my opinion so yeah guys that is how i did my faux locks i hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and i will catch everybody on the next video bye